Hi, my love, beautiful souls. It's Mystic World 1111. I'm back with True Bringing Dark into Light. Please take what resonates and leave it does not fit for somebody else. Click to read now, first ring. Click to read now, first ring. Thank you to everyone liking, sharing, subscribing my channel. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. I love you and not be wearing masks. Not for you guys. I love guys. Thank you so much. If you hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit the bell button. Okay, if you'd like to join the True Seeking members, it's $3.99 per month. The bonus you get that is um one free question. Make sure when you do that, you guys, uh, for uh, when I go look at it, all you have to do is go to my profile picture. And if you've already subscribed, there'll be a button that says join, okay? There'll be a button that says join. If you have not subscribed, there'll be it'll say subscribe and then join. So I think you have to subscribe to join. And then when you hit join, then it'll give you the steps that you need to do to um, join the True Sea Kid members. I also do have my Patreon as well. I haven't been really lift, uh, uploading videos on my Patreon. My Patreon, I think, is $7.77. $7 and I do put videos on there as well that's unfiltered, that's, uh, that I don't put on YouTube, that are for my members only, okay? Uh, I just did a member video. I am going to try to do at least one a week now for my members, and that will be put, being put on YouTube members only, and then on Patreon as well. Okay, Patreon is going to have, if you do sign up for Patreon, it's a little bit more money than YouTube, but you will get, like, I'll be actually possibly putting more videos on that Patreon, okay? I might actually add another tier as well. So, that's just, it gives the members a little bit more, and I may have more about my life as well on those, more, you know, being a part of my, my soul tribe and stuff like that. So, yeah, you can, you can subscribe, you can join on YouTube, or you can go to my Patreon as well, okay? So... The Patreon, I made the Patreon for unfiltered videos where, like, things are, like, you can't put so much messages out. But then I haven't put any out because I have no members on there right now. But if I did start having members on there, I'm just saying that if I start having members, I will be putting videos up there. But there's no reason to upload those videos when I had no members on there. But those would be more unfiltered videos where they're going to be more about things where you can't talk so much about on YouTube, okay? That would be put on Patreon. So, you can check that out, okay? So... We're just going to do an energy right now for the collective. Right now, when I open up, we have somebody that's involved with some kind of street crime, okay? What's going on in the streets, okay? Something's happening on the streets, street crimes. So, yeah. Again, it, there's a button for join. If you have any troubles, just email me. I know a girl had troubles. A soul sister had a little bit of trouble to try to join, and she went to my Patreon, but I did up, I'm up, I upload a video for Patreon as well, okay? So, there's different ways you could actually um, watch extra videos, Okay, what else, Spirit? What else is going on here? What's going on? It's kind of, Patreon's kind of like, you know, considered like the only me fans. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you have to have a membership, you know, you pay to have extra videos, extra stuff going on. Okay, so street crimes that we have, you are, you know where you're going and where you want to go, okay? You're getting away from this, okay? You're getting away from this low energy, this low vibing. You you shifted a timeline, okay? You're not part of this anymore. You don't want to be a part of the street crimes and, you know, street life and, you know, fast lane and hustle life anymore. And you can still, like, there's difference between hust street hustling and, like, business hustling, okay? Because, like, if you want to say it, I'm actually a hustler, okay? I, I have all these little businesses I have. I have my Etsy store. I have that side hustle. I have my YouTube. I have my Patreon. You know what I mean? Like, I have little things that I do. My life coaching, all that stuff. I So, I have little side jobs, okay? Um, But this is somebody that doesn't want to be, like, street hustling anymore, okay? So, you could be, like, a boss as well. Something about being a boss. And you just don't want to be involved in this stuff anymore. It's just too low. Moves you down. Be patient. It's almost time. Okay, something's coming in for you. It's you're gonna be. It's your, your time. You've been waiting patiently. Somebody you walked away. That's crazy. Okay, I heard you. Somebody you walked away. That's like crazy. Crazy. Okay, stay far away from them. Okay, I just heard that. What else is going on here? Limit control issues. Okay, that's surrendering. Okay. You don't have to control everything, okay? It's the same thing as surrendering prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, the wisdom to know the difference, okay? That's one thing I'm really working on. There's things I cannot control anymore, and I have to just surrender, put my hands up, and totally, fully surrender, and be like, God, please take my hands. Please show me the way, okay? Allow me to find what I need to find. Guide me, okay? But it's surrendering, putting your hands, putting your hands up, and totally surrendering to the divine, okay? To the most high, and asking him to show you the way because he will 
uh, we can't control some things, okay? And I, I was somebody that needed to control everything. And I feel like that's something about you. I feel like you had to control everything in the past. Like you had to make sure things go this way. If it doesn't go this way, it's not going to work out. But what Spirit's saying is surrender. Mom, I want a big bike. I'm doing a little bit of work because Sissy's home. So she's watching you. And then when I, she goes and I'm going to let you ride your bike. What's in your mouth? Get that out. You don't put little things in your mouth. Why? You can choke. I'll go to the doctor. Then you have to go to the doctor. You do not put little things in your mouth. Why? I will throw those little toys away. Yeah, I will. You shouldn't be having them when they're not. No? Okay, well, if you want to ride your bike, you got to let me finish working then once Sissy's here. Because I have to bring her to work a little bit. Sissy going to work too? Yeah, and then when Sissy goes to work and Daddy's at work, then Mommy and Sissy play. I mean, Mommy and Daughter play. Me and you play. Yay! Mommy play? Mommy's always playing with you. Okay. Why are you doing plugging me? I know. But, hey, why are you... Go to see so I can finish. Go get your cards for me so I can use your cards. My cards? Yeah, on the table, your old May cards. Can I use them in my reading? Okay. I'll come back and show you. Okay, come back, show me, and then you go back with Sissy. Okay. You guys, I only have like an hour and a half to do readings with Carmelia's home and without her interrupting, but she still interrupted me. And then I played on playing with her, taking her outside. You are extremely intuitive, okay? You are very Mommy, extremely intuitive. Papa's sitting there. What? Papa's sitting there. Well, you can ask ask him to grab your ecstasy. Your wish has been granted. Your wish has been granted. Can you? Yeah, go, go grab. There's her. She has old May cards on the table. I want to use them. They're really cool. They have like cop cars, like cops in it, like for here. Go grab them. She needs to go back with you then. Okay. I told her I only have like an hour and a half to do this. Here, let's, go, let's go get your cards. Can I use your card in my reading? So she's supposed to see you? Come on. Go, Sissy. Church, I will play with you after. Her. <laughs> you stop. Your wish has been granted. What's being done to you is being done to others. So whatever is being done to you, it's not just happening to you. It's happening to other people. And I was hearing something about attacks, okay? These attacks have been really, really strong the last couple days. Okay, probably the last three, four days, strong attacks. Maybe five, even five five days. Um, They will get better, okay? They will get better. You're going to pull through this, okay? Don't give up, okay? Make sure you're praying. Make sure you're meditating. Make sure you're using your affirmation. Some people were listening to Reiki healing. Wear your bracelets. I don't have my bracelets on. Um, I should have my bracelets on. But it's a little bit of nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> go, Sissy. I'm gonna need your cards. We can, we can do the thing. We can do the thing where I looked you up. She got these from school, and they're cool. You remember? Oh, her pictures. Oh, here's right here. Just look right here. Okay. Up? See, they have like these. Okay. Here. Okay. Go. Here. I'll show you. I'm gonna do the thing. Here. Let's... Somebody knows what you did last summer. You know what they did last summer? I'm gonna finish off these cards that we have right here. You need a break from phone or electronics, okay? Phone, electronics, TV, movies, okay? Take a little break, be out in nature. And somebody's emotionally empty. These people that are in the street crimes, um, on the streets, you know, dealing with hustle life, fast life, you know, go, go, go life. It's like always go, go, go. Can't sit still and stuff. They're emotionally empty, okay? They're emotionally empty. They're trying to um, cover that pain with drugs, alcohol, girls, men, you know what I mean? Like, they're trying to cover it up because they're emotionally empty. So, we have a rock star. Somebody that's a rock star, somebody that's a singer, rapper, whatever, you know what I mean? Like somebody that's an entertainer coming out. Uh, it says Vocal Victoria, so that could be a name as well. These are her old May cards, and they're really cool. Kind of see what kind of energy comes out with like the person, you know what I mean? So let's see what comes out. What else comes out here for the collective? So you can know, okay, right here, before I said this, you know what somebody did last summer or the year before that involved them in some kind of street crime, involved them in some kind of illegal activity, okay? We have somebody that's mixing Mar Mar Maria, so somebody could be a chef, a cook, oh my gosh, a chef, a cook, a baker, someone who owns a bakery, okay, or a, you know, small little restaurant, I'm hearing taco truck. This could be like taco truck, you know, food truck, food services. Okay, this could be in the food service named Maria. Okay, somebody's in food service. Somebody is a chef, cook, culinary school. 
Then we have Creative Caroline, okay? Somebody's very creative. Somebody could be a painter, an artist, okay? Very creative. Wears overalls. Okay, somebody wears a chef outfit or like a cook's outfit. I'm also hearing a uh, resin paint. Okay, somebody does resin paint. Okay, with this painting, somebody does resin paint or into resin. Okay, they're just very creative. And then we have Backswing Salvador. Somebody's a golfer. Disc golf, 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 sports. Okay, or even sports. My right ear just rang. Okay, sports. Hispanic. Okay, this is a medium skin tone. Let's get one more. These cards of hers are so cool. So cool. Karate Keisha. Okay, and then we do a karate keisha. So somebody could be into like martial arts, fighting, boxing, karate, kickboxing, protecting themselves, maybe protecting themselves too. This is also like, this is, could be protecting, you know, prote spiritually protecting yourself. Okay, from the dark forces, from the attacks. Keisha. And then we have somebody going, uh, it says ball, ball and chain Charlie. Okay. So... This person that you know that they did something illegal last summer from involved in the streets, hustling life, is going to jail. Okay, or it could be locked up. Somebody could be already locked up, okay, for these crimes as well, what I just heard. Somebody could be already locked up for these crimes in the past. Okay, now these are little cute little cards that my, my, sis, my, my sister, my daughter, my sister, huh. Somebody witnessed something. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna use, I'll use these ones first. Then, you witness something. Okay, that's where that's what you said. You know, somebody did last summer. You witnessed something. Some involvement, legal activity involvement. Okay, what else? It may not even be last summer. It could have been, you know what they did last winter, okay? You know what they did in the last fall, springtime, okay? You know something what they did, okay? You witnessed something. You, you've seen something. You've seen some kind of struggle, some kind of fight, some kind of argument, something that went to take in place. You could be a caregiver, okay? A nurse, a therapist, uh, a PCA, personal caregiver, this, um, the, uh, direct caregiver, residential caregiver, Okay, a nursing home, a group home, facility, a hospital, assistant living, in home care. Okay, somebody about in home in home care. Travel. You could be a traveling nurse. Okay, somebody could be a traveling nurse. Okay, somebody's a traveling nurse. They may witness something. You saw something that um you didn't think happened. Maybe you stay in a hotel, motel as well, or something happened in motel, hotel, the street life. You know, hustling happening as well. Somebody may have like a nurse or like a traveling nurse that comes and takes care of people that are like in a hospital or like in a hotel, motel, or know somebody that's in the street life. Intuition, follow your intuition, follow your gut feeling, okay? Whatever's going on, follow your intuition, your gut. Female. Okay, I wasn't going to take this, but I did. Okay, government. You can work for the government. You could be like a government nurse. Traveling nurse. Okay, somebody could be a volunteer too. Like, volunteer and they help with, like, situations. I just heard an immigration nurse. Okay, or you travel, like, going and helping other governments, other countries. Happy. Okay, happy time, happy place. Two more, please. One more. Thank you. Kidnapped. Okay, somebody could have been kidnapped in the past. Maybe you're caring for them. That's what you've seen last summer or last winter. You know what happened. You know about a kidnapping. There's a gift. Okay, I'm hearing you're being gifted. Okay, blessing, gifted. You can hear them back there. We have Scorpio coming out.
Oh, card fell on the floor. Oh. Aquarius. They can still be saved. Okay, somebody can still be saved. Even if they're involved in something, they can still be saved, okay? Cards don't like come like they're hard to shuffle today. I don't know why. Wow. Childhood trauma. Okay, you can have a childhood trauma. Somebody else could have childhood trauma. They could have a child they could have some kind of trauma. They could have been traumatized by being kidnapped. Someone's afraid to talk about this. Somebody's afraid, you know, what happened. They're still trying to heal from this. Immature. Somebody's a very immature, a father. Okay, I saw this card, but I didn't take it. So we have father really coming out. I saw father and the other card I saw was Rampa, so we had masculine energy. Wow, and they you guys, no joke. Look at it. Oh, I can't see. It's right. I'm going to just go look at it. Right here, this card fell so you guys can see. Grandpa. Just said to follow the grandpa. And I did see that and then it fell right out. We'll do anything for clout money. So somebody was doing anything for clout last summer. Maybe they got paid to kidnap somebody. They got kidnapped. That was part of the street life, okay? I'll kidnap this person to get good money because they needed money. And you could love animals. Huh. Fricker. I hear them out there streaming, playing. Okay, know something that happened at a house party? A work situation? I just hit my door. <laughs> you might still hear them. They're being loud, but it's okay. They're having fun. <laughs> I can hear my 16 year old cry laughing. Oh, they're just laughing up there. Feds. Okay, so feds could be involved. Okay. Somebody could have went to the feds as well. Karmic lover. So you know something that happened with this karmic lover? You're an earth angel. Time's up for this karmic lover. Time's up for this person that was involved. Okay. They, you know, you may be on time frame too. You witness something, you, you have to come forward. Okay. Something about witness something, you have to come forward. Okay. You need to make things right. Like what you know about. It's time to come forward about it. Okay, you may witness something that was involving a corrupt cop. Vigil ante. Give me a couple more please to close this out. Distorted masculine misleading. So there's a masculine is misleading. Somebody said they were somewhere when they weren't there. Okay. Somebody about an alibi. Just heard an alibi. Bounty. Okay, this corrupt cop can have a bounty. Uh, this karmic lover could have a bounty. The person that for clout will have a bounty. There is undercover cops looking for this person. And they've been under the influence. Something that happened during a celebration too that you know about. I don't know, I just heard somebody know. Somebody went into the back room and got it on and with a married person. I just heard, okay. I don't know why that came out, but someone's trying to keep secrets about a situation and it's coming to light. Somebody didn't know if it was a right time to talk about this or come forward with this information is what I heard, okay? So you, somebody was just waiting for the right time or felt like it wasn't there. I just heard they felt like it wasn't their place. Yeah, they know they did last summer or the last winter or whatever, but they felt like it wasn't their place to come forward. But now for some reason they're being nudged to come for forward because... They know something that could actually help solve something or know something that's actually going to change things around, okay? That's going to make a change. Cause it, could, it will cause a tower moment, okay? This will cause some kind of tower, but this tower, when there's a tower moment, it brings a change in someone's life, okay? Or people's lives. 
And that, that struggle, there could have been some kind of fight too that happened. Somebody could have had like been hurt. It was afraid to come forward about it. They didn't want to be blamed. They didn't want somebody didn't want to have to be a witness or testify as well. I'm hearing, okay, they didn't want to be brought into it. And now they know like God may be nudging them. You know, you gotta do the right thing. You weren't involved in this, but you know, this person something about somebody was hurt and they need to come forward and, you know, help somebody else's family and give them their justice, okay? Is what I'm hearing. To bring justice to a family or bring justice to you, bring justice to someone. So, um, hiding, not coming forward, you know? I just keep hearing you said it wasn't your place. Okay, I'm hearing somebody saying it wasn't my place, it wasn't my place to come forward on this. I'm gonna close out. Oh, names. Shit. I was gonna name clip. Okay, I just saw the card memory. So somebody may have just like maybe lost memory. Maybe there was like amnesia or like just forgot about something. And now it's like their memory's coming back to them. Okay, something could have been like they blocked it out too. Especially if somebody's kidnapped or like witnessed something and like shock. So you go in shock. Okay, so when you go into shock or like you've been in an accident or you had some kind of brain injury or something that happened. Um, what happens, you guys, is you kind of forget something. Okay, it's like an amnesia and like loss of memory. And... So maybe this is coming back. Maybe something woke you up, activated you to remember this, okay? Or when you have severe trauma. There's things I've had severe trauma when I was a child, like really severe trauma, like when I was molested. I was molested at eight, eight years, I think it was like seven, eight, nine years old. No, it wasn't even nine. It was like seven or eight years old, maybe even six years old. Me and my sister were by my cousin. And I blocked that out for a very, very long time. Like I totally blocked that out. Like I didn't want to have that, remember that memory. Okay, I didn't want to bring that trauma up. And like remember that memory till I started doing my shadow work and then it came back to me in 2021 after Cherish was born. The trauma came back to me and I ended up telling my mom about it. I think my mom didn't believe me but I told her about it. And like cause it just it hit me remembering that my cousin literally was sexually assaulted me and my sister like molesting us um, and saying it was okay. We're playing house. We're you know we're having fun. We're playing house. And like that was traumatizing to me. You know what I mean? Like and I buried it so deep down. I repressed it. I blocked it out of my life. And I didn't really think about that. And I'm like, maybe that's why, you know, once I admitted that and like opened that up and now I'm able to talk about it, I'm, a, I'm not afraid to talk about it. You know, he was, he wasn't over 18. I was, like I said, as early as six, it would have been and as late as eight because I got taken out of that home well by nine and that went to my dad's. Um, and my mom, that was when my mom and dad were together actually still. So, and my mom and my dad were together. So it was like eight, nine. So that it had been before I was nine and like, you know, and my cousin, he he's like was four or five years older than me. So if I was like, he's probably like 10, 11, 12, okay, preteen. And so he's really young still. So his mind wasn't, but then my mom told me he was molested by his dad. So he was molested by his dad. And so like, you know, it was a habit, like, or it's like learn, like, you know, you get molested by someone, then you do it too. Luckily, I never had to do that. You know, I never did that with my kids. You know, I broke that. I broke that cycle. Okay. I broke that cycle. My mom said she was molested by, I don't know if she was molested by her her grandpa, her dad, her uncle. I just know she said it was a male figure. I don't remember what. It happened to my mom as well. Um, but I was able to break that cycle. My, my kids have not, you know, has not happened. And I pray that it will never happen. My daughter's 16. My three-year-old is not around that, you know. And so, literally, I repressed it. And I blocked that for a long time. And I didn't want to talk about that, you know. But now that I'm talking about it, I'm open about it. And, like, I've, I've, I've healed from it. I'm not afraid of it anymore. I feel he's no longer alive. The the cousin that did it to me, he actually went to prison for molesting or like uh, raping a, he was, he was like 21, 22 and raping a 13 year old. So he got, he got locked up and he actually, I think my mom said he's suicide or someone's hung him. Okay. Like, so he's dead. He's gone. Like he got his karma. He's gone. He's no longer here in this plane, you know? Um, so he got his karma and I've already healed from it. I've forgiven the person, you know? But, again, that's what I'm saying is, like, 
if you witness this and like you totally forgot about it this is something that you could have witnessed and like just blocked it out because it was like shocking it was you know traumatizing and now like something's activating you it's because you're probably like healing something and you're growing through something and that's why um this is coming out okay and now it's time to speak up about it you know maybe you're not afraid anymore maybe you're gonna come forward and maybe it wasn't you maybe it was a family member that you witnessed okay because it said i know you last summer maybe you witnessed a lover or family member that did this to somebody else as well okay but now you know it's not good to you know keep it a secret it's like time to speak up about it let's talk about this you know let's help other people and that's how you're gonna help other people is by opening opening up and speaking your truth and you know talking about your experiences as well not everyone it does but for me my healing experience is talking about what happened to me okay that's how i've actually been able to heal is by me literally talking about my experiences and there's a lot of things you guys don't know about me and there's some things i will keep um because I don't think it really is relevant to the situation. If it comes relevant and God has guided me to talk about it, I will talk about it. Okay? Um, but right now, like, there's some things that, you know, you know, it's not. But, again, everything is, there's everything that's, like, timing, okay? It's all timing. Conspiracy. Okay, you may know something about conspiracy. So, security feeds. So, something could have been on security feed, okay? This is what could have been, like, witness. Server rooms. Enabling. Some of enabling. Past person has too much ego. Memory, that's the card I see, and that's why I said that, okay, memory. Like, some of these memories coming back to them, okay? Um, some of these memories coming back to them. Especially, like, if you were in an accident, like, if you hit, hit your head in an accident, I have a traumatic brain injury, but my traumatic brain injury is not from an accident. It's from my dad hitting me in the back of my head and my sister punching me in the back of my head. Um, mine are from, you know, being physically blunted hit, hit you know? Why? Um, and my, my sister used to piss pal me, my brother, my stepbrother Cody would piss pal me. Um, and... Yeah, so some of these memories coming back from some significant situation, okay? Toxic addiction, bad habits. Pink and blue may be significant. Leo Troy. Musafa. Musafa, yeah, my car accident, I didn't hit my head. That's why I didn't hit my head. My seatbelt actually saved me, but it snapped my back. So, and that, I didn't know I had traumatic brain injury. That's, you guys, I found out I had traumatic brain injury when I was in the hospital for my back, for my car accident, and they did a CAT scan, PET scan, and they said I had traumatic brain injury, but they said it was in the back of my head, and they said it was as a child, which would have been when my sister used to piss pound my head and my dad used to hit me in the back of my head. Like, like when I, I get in trouble, my dad would literally, you guys, my dad. Okay, so my face, like, when I would get in trouble, my dad would literally go in the back of my head. I don't know if you guys can see. He would literally hit me right here. And that's where my, my brain injury is, you guys, back here, is he would literally hit me here really hard. And my sister used to, I hope you guys can see my sister used to piss pound me right here, you guys. Like, she would go wham, wham, wham in the back of my head. Um, that's where my traumatic injury is, right back here. And that's where my slurred speech comes in and me sometimes talking fast as well. And me stuttering is because where the, where the functioning is. Um, I have a really good memory, though. I have a really good memory, so that didn't affect my memory. So there's different parts of your brain that can be tra traumatized as well, okay? Different parts of your brain. And mine was in the back where I would be hit, where I showed you. It would be on my left side of my back. Um, let me see something quick here. Left back brain. Let me see. Oh, I see. Okay. So this is, yep. This is what I was talking about. Okay. Cause each part is differently. So this mine was, um, which is language impairment that affects speaking, understanding, reading, and writing. I don't know how to spell words. I, it's really hard for me to pronounce words as well. Okay. So like you see, I started like my, it says speech. Okay. So when there are people on here, haters on me saying I, I, I re repeat myself and I st uh, stutter and I, um, slur my words and all that stuff, and I can't pronounce my words right, it is because I have a traumatic brain injury, guys. And I am dyslexic, too. But it's because of that brain injury I have, okay? Because um, right here, impaired and affects speaking, understanding, reading, and writing. And for me to understand, it takes me, like, if I'm reading something, I have to read something, and it takes me, like, five times, and it, it, it's hard for me to understand it. Or when I, when I understand something, I'm hearing something from spirit, and I'm trying to explain it to you guys. That's one reason it's a little bit harder to explain to you guys is because my tra traumatic brain injury, I'm trying to explain it the way that I'm hearing it to help you guys understand as well. And so it comes off, you know, differently than sometimes. 
It also uh, axpria of the speech, which is, which is a condition where the brain co cannot communicate fluently with the facial muscles. So that's where mine is, okay? That's why like I'm putting out my messages. And that's why Spirit told me I was afraid to get on here and do YouTube because of how I talk. Literally, I was afraid to get on here to, because how I talked. And now it's like, no, don't get on there. You have this. You know, you have this strength brain injury and you're going to get on there. You're going to speak your truth and people are going to be guided there. You're going to teach people how to do things. Ignore all those other people. Um, this also can uh, include, okay, so mine could, yep. So cognitive impairments on the left black back brain is also memory, attention, problem solving, and logical re reasoning. Okay. Then this is, you, this, all this doesn't have to happen. But that's where it can affect, Okay. Um, this can include weakness of lack of movement in the right side of the body. Damage of optical lobe can result in loss of sight, visualization, disturbance. I have, I'm going to show you guys. I had a lazy eye my whole life, my left eye. But my lazy eye, left eye, I used to wear a patch. This is this was because I actually um, had, I had pink eye and they had to do surgery when I was, I was six months old. So my left eye. But this could also cause why it still hasn't went straight because I've had so much stuff because of my traumatic brain injury. Okay. I gotta pause this quick for a minute. Sorry, guys. I had to get up and use the restroom. Okay. Um, I was thinking I was talking about this and I had to go. Okay. This can include weakness of lack of body. Okay. Um, other effects can include depression, anxiety, problems with logic and sequencing, and challenges with problem solving and abstracting thinking. Okay. So there's different things. So. Okay. So this could be happening in somebody too. If somebody knows something. Musafa. Oh, we had Lou Troy, Pink and Blue, Musafa, McNallan, McNallan, some kind of riot. Somebody knows about a riot. South Korean, Nikea, Divine Feminine, God, Extradited, Beyonce, Rihanna, as a pro officer. Somebody may know something about going on and goes to somebody's pro officer. Dave, High Res. Okay, he's, you guys, he's a spiritual rapper, okay? He believes in God, Jesus, everything, spiritual rapper. Go listen to him. He will give you downloads and receive some downloads through his music, which came out in a different reading. Listen to High res Humans are ones who have heard Gaia. We have, you guys, we've been hearing Gaia. Okay, it's us. We have to put it back together. We have Amber W., Bud. We have Princeton, Gala, Prince, Abby. 666 is not following inner voice. Okay, somebody's not following the inner voice. You may not be paying attention to signs. Start paying attention to signs, okay? Saf sacrifice, reconsider, letting go, and discovery. And rethinking. Washington. Nelson. Your prayers will come true. Be patient. Your life will get better. Okay, so this could have been street racing. Somebody knows something about going on street racing. Psychedelics. Farkin. 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 Farah Ken, Farah Ken, Montgomery, Texas, Montgomery, Texas, Ricardo, Joel, Submissive, Tanzanium, something about a cemetery, somebody went down in a cemetery, they know something about it, this is my story, ready to tell all my secrets, stand by what you say, okay, somebody's ready to tell their story, and stand by what they say, they're ready to tell their story, always beauty inside of you, okay, always beauty, and Beretta. Okay, when I wrote this card, I wrote this as a Bretta Chevy Bretta, okay? I didn't know they had a Bretta snake or a Bretta gun. I wrote this as a Chevy Bretta, okay? If any of you guys know, they used to have the Chevy Brettas, 80s and 90s. My uh, my dad's best friend, we called him Uncle Mike. He had one. He had a red one. It was really freaking cool. It had, a, it had a moon roof in it. My ex boyfriend's brother, Fred, he had a blue one. They're really cool, okay? Chevy Brettas. That's why I wrote this car, card. But this could be also a gun. It could also be a snake or a name, okay? Okay, let's get closing on this. I really hope this message helps, especially when I talk about a little bit about what happened with me. And so somebody may know that. Somebody may have a contusion as well. Contusions make you forget things, okay? Make you do something that you don't normally do. Injured. Oh, street racing. Somebody could hit their head on street racing and forgot. I just saw that. Car accident. Street racing. Okay. See that just clicked right there. We have first quarter moon in Libra. Keep an open heart. 
and then forgive. Full moon in Pisces, forgive. And that's the thing. I forgave my sister for beating me up. I forgave my dad for hitting me back in the head, giving me a traumatic brain injury. You know what? Because now I'm able to channel messages and I am who I am right now. So I still am who I am and I forgive the people that hurt me. So it's time to forgive, okay? Forgive yourself and forgive the others so you can heal and move forward and shine. New moon and Leo shine. Sunflowers. Fifty-one, fifty-one. I said fifty-one, fifty-one. I meant fifteen, fifteen. Change opportunities coming into your life. Love, romance. Pay attention. Two thirty-three. Universe will always present you with new opportunities and make journey a better one. Have few. Have faith in self. In itself, okay. And then seventy-eight. You know, chairs colored on this. Luck, good fortune, destined for great things, right life path, right direction, moving towards your achievements. Whoever doesn't like me using my homemade deck cards, um, this is where you know that you're channeling messages and you're releasing. Like, when I first got tarot, when I got into this, I was writing things down while I was channeling what I was hearing. Okay? And honestly, that's why I use more of my homemade deck cards because there's more messages coming through them. And the other cards are very pretty, but somebody just like was questioning about why we make our own homemade deck cards is because it's what we hear. We hear these messages, so we write them down. Leo, Cancer, Cancer, Libra, and number 10. Leo, Cancer, Cancer, number 10, and Libra. Love you guys. Love, peace, light, and namaste.